Welcome back to Vigor. It's your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. Again, you're not seeing things. I'm teaming up with Cat once again. And I feel as if, I feel as if we share the same mindset and that's that's great right again I said this in my previous video you don't find well yeah cat said you don't find many players that you know err on the side of logic and stuff like that and so yeah feels pretty nice we're gonna get into it on battery death and see if we both can come out of here alive and you see here's the thing about battery death right when you sign up as teams you pretty much enter a deathmatch on battery death. It's literally a team deathmatch with the option of looting because whenever a team comes on here, what do they think? Let's take out the other team and we can have the entire map to ourselves. But here's the thing, once you do get the entire map to yourself, what are you going to do? Because you don't bought so much ammunition, so many mortar strikes, so many grenades, so many PSDs that you don't have enough space for looting. But look, that's for the pure, pure, pure hunters, right? But see, when there's a team like this that you're currently watching right now, Cat and myself, we still have room to loot, right? Because that's how we both learned the game from the get-go. So what we're going to do right now, and again, I'm not placing the objectives at the top right hand of your screen, purely because it's two different people. Given we can be, we can be trying to do two different objectives, objectives, but I'd rather talk rather than put them up in the top right hand of the screen, because anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. And so I tell him we're going for the container. And I'm doing this because we can thin out the herd. As you've seen in a pre-game lobby, most people here did not have good weapons. And so I'm expecting somebody to come over here. And I tell him, watch my back, I'm going to try to open the container. And you see, all the while I'm doing this, I'm being a guinea pig. If I get shot at, then we know somebody's nearby. But in a case like right now, I'm a sitting duck, the only thing that's saving me is the animation. And it gets worse when you stand up. Your head only goes to the right. Well, on the left one time, too. But that's it. I got it open. I got it open. So, nobody's here. Now, this is not going to happen all the time. But maybe other teams spawn far enough away to where this was pretty much a guaranteed lootable object for us. Not complaining. Not complaining. M249 here. I can snipe with it. M249 is a very snipable LMG. A very snipable LMG. Now, we both got the container, right? And I shared a loot with him. Now what? Well, we're gonna head deeper into the map. And yes, there's a person with the airdrop up there, but I believe that they are way too far for me to do anything about them. And that a tether gets used as well. And it's right there. Now notice, in that split second, you see the detector getting used, right? But the airdrop carrier wasn't the one doing it. His teammate did it. And so I tell Cat, yo, we need to run over there. Because we, we might be able to catch them both slipping. And I'm expecting them to run to the exit to our left. The boat exit to our left. But instead, what they do is actually common sense. They're not trying to kill anybody. They're trying to leave. And so, as they're going, well, as we're going over here, you see they got further and further away. They got further and further away. Now, it sucks because, hey, no free airdrop. Well, I mean, we gotta fight them, obviously. But no free airdrop, right? But we did hear the time safe go off. And so, the plan now is to head over here to the time safe. And yeah, there's some gunshots going on over there. Maybe the exit's cursed. We, we don't know. Maybe the exit is cursed. 
Yeah, they're still there. Maybe there's somebody over there. But our focus now is the time safe. And I'm waiting here near this entrance end or exit to the time safe area. Because I'm expecting somebody to run over there. And I don't know what why did I just ping that? I completely forgot. Anyways. So I don't see them, but now I call it out. I say, be careful, cat, there's a guy right in front of you. Cat says that he sees him. And what's gonna happen? I believe his cat is far enough away to where he doesn't hear him and that's all well and good that's fantastic our location is still hidden but also I'm trying to figure out where did he go because well never mind then so cat hears gunshots and says I'm moving and I say okay but be careful again because the guy right there's a guy right there in front of you and so cat does a smart thing and hides behind a tree and we're doing this because we're trying to wait until, as he backs up into me, we're trying to wait until it's our golden moment to strike. And I get the idea of relocating. Cat is going to watch that angle, or was going to watch that angle, but he re he relocates with me, and that's fine too. We both got eyes on the same position. Actually, no, he's staying back there. Okay, so yeah, Cat's back there, and I'm going to head over here to the other gun emplacement, and maybe set up with the M249. And Cat follows me again because he wants to watch my back. And that is completely fine. I enjoy that fact. Now, if that guy does a, does the same play a third time, as in walk on top of the uh, concrete bunker, I got a whole M249 here that I can lay him out. And I'm going prone over here and I'm walking. And I'm expecting somebody to walk in front of me. And yet, I don't see anything. And Cat's on the other side of this gun emplacement, so he can watch the other side. Fair enough. And yeah, we don't we don't see anything. And you see, this is this is what I want to highlight. In in some of my videos, I say an uneven even playing field. What I just said was everybody has low visibility. Everybody has the sound cut out a little bit because of the rain. Nobody knows where nobody's at until they're right in front of you. Right? That is what this is right here. That's what this is. And so, I decided to dig up this buried cache, you know, and you never know, I might get lucky. And I don't. It's cool, though. It's cool. And as I'm walking here, I think, well, maybe we can loot this house. So, I'm going to do that. And Cat, again, is still watching my back. Walking over here. Change my mind. Don't decide to loot the house. Instead, go down here. Check. Nobody's down there. I didn't hear anything either. So, now that true sense of insecurity really sets in. Because we've seen one person two different times. And yeah, that truck hasn't been looted either. So we know we got the advantage in terms of ordnance, right? Because motor strike and grenade. I think Cap bought a grenade. So now we got the upper hand in terms of offense. But if that player who comprises a team stays still and watches up watches us walk by, then we're screwed. And so now we're coming up with a plan. And I believe Cat says, let's hit the detector. And I say, sure, let's go for it. Now, I start running here and Cat follows me. And this is only because we're trying to draw out people. We're trying to see if anybody's here by, as, by making as much noise as possible. And we're running straight through the middle of the map. So, I mean, and the time safe is right there to the right of us. Um, It would make sense for somebody to be here. It would make sense. And Santa Claus is coming overhead, and this time he's not as loud, but it would be nice for him to stop existing. There he goes. Alright, so I say, I'm going to hit the detector, watch my back, and Cat says okay. And so as we get near this car park, 
make sure nobody's around. Hit the detector. Go prone. What do we got? We got one person right there. Well, two people right there. My bad. That's a whole duo. That's two different people. That's the team that we saw at the time safe. Now, granted, the time it took for me to say that, relay that information to Cat, they could be long gone, right? But they're right on top of each other. And that's definitely a team. That's not two different people. That's one team of two people. And now I'm thinking, where would they be going? Right? Because why would they be out in that field like that? You know what I'm saying? Maybe they were heading toward an exit, or maybe they are going to the middle of the map. Or they could have been going to the detector themselves. I don't know. But I see somebody right there. Ping it, call it out. And Cat says, okay, I see them too. Now, notice how we don't start blazing away immediately. Because they know they got spotted, right? Well, de detected. Not spotted, but detected. Spotted means that, you know, somebody sees you. Detected means... We've seen you on the map, and now we're trying to find you. Got me? Cool. So catch behind me, walking up, and yeah, I go prone, then I, then I crouch walk right here. Because from that position up there, you can spot somebody making their way across this little road right here. It is possible. It is possible. And now we got visual cover behind this truck. Cat says, I'm going to go this way and get another position. And I say, cool. Now, Cat has the idea of using a PSD. And I believe he says it right here. And I say, Cat, don't do it. Because I want them to, th to think that they're safe. And by the time I say don't do it, Cat's trigger finger is already on. And he indeed uses his PSD. And so he tells me, he's right there. And I say, okay. Now, this is a bit of uh, raw experience coming in here. I look at the map. And I figure out, okay, he's, maybe he's in a bush up there next to a rock. If I look at that map long enough, I can drop a mortar strike right on him. And with that information in hand, drop a mortar strike right there. Now we wait. Nothing. But draw them out. It draw them out. That was the epitome of coordination or coordination. He seen me first because I was out in the open. And he shot at me. Cat is on a flank shooting at him as well but it's not over yet though because where's his buddy at and you see I'm thinking he's going to be in these bushes and so I'm going to walk to them and walk through them if I come to a stop immediately then I'm of course walking straight into somebody but that's it we don't know where his buddy's at and yes this man had a G3 and I'm like eh should I trade in no no Got an M249 on me. What's the point? And with that, my bag is pretty much full, but it's half consumables. Now, we don't know if they hit the time safe. We don't know if it's open. And we're not trying to find out because you never underestimate radiation. You never underestimate radiation. And yeah, I mess up right here. And look, if there was anybody here, I'd be dead by now. I'll be dead three times over by now. Because I messed up like three different times. I know. Crazy. Now, I got the airdrop. Cat got the airdrop. Again, if there's anybody else here, Cat will be getting shot at because he's in front of me. And I'll be getting shot at because I'm liking by like four seconds behind him. And again, we don't know where this guy's teammate was at. He easily could have picked up a pistol, a silver pigeon an IZH-43 or anything and could try to take us out but he'll have to wait for the perfect opportunity but we're not going to give it to him instead we're going to do the smart thing now that we're spotted we're not trying to we're not trying to attract any more attention 
And so we want to take the exit that doesn't require any resources and doesn't require us to stay still longer than 10 seconds. What I just said was, we played it smart. And now, we're out of here. Cats left, and like I said, I fell behind. And I keep running, just in case it gets shot at, and we're both out of there. You see, there are teams here that rely upon PSDs and detectors to try to hunt you down. All you need to do is use your brain and use the map and think about, well, see, see where they are at that instant when you detect them with your PSD one time, one time, then think about where they could go. The, that team was in the was in the field to the right. Now, if I got pinged, what would I do? I would take cover somewhere, because I feel like I'm about to get hunted. So they did. They did the right play and they hid up there. But the one thing that they didn't take into account is that the angle they can get spotted at. They got spotted from below, which means I was looking up at them, which means the sky was behind them, which means I saw their silhouette. And so once Cat hit that PSD, that's all the information needed to know to draw them out. It's plays like that that I actually respect getting killed by. Now if I get pinged six different times and then three guys are on me and they all shoot my body one time, uh, I'll get mad. But if I got killed like that, I wouldn't even be mad. Because that was the artwork of coordination and so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next episode until next time peace